YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the newest episode of the Pokemon Diamond Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. And we are back with our awesome, amazing party of Gollum the Sableye, Buffy the Gligar, Luna the Lunatone, Barker the Shift Tree, Captain the Swamper, and Todd the Vulpix. And if you uh, saw the last episode, we got a couple of pretty neat encounters and um, made it through uh, the left side of Route 214. And now we're going to be taking on the right side and also probably get uh, a couple more encounters today, which is really exciting. Without further ado, we're going to jump right in and fight this guy. For the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. All right, this guy's supposed to be a collector, but it's probably going to be something different. We're challenged by Botanist Thomas, a Venusaur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a botanist with a Venusaur. I mean, that, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Well, he takes care of the plant on top of on top of the Venusaur, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, we're going to fake you out because I always want to get that little extra damage in there. Uh, take advantage of that. Sweet. And you flinched. And now we're going to do a Shadow Sneak. And... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was a crit. I was like, why did it do so much? Oh, no. We got put to sleep. Thankfully, um, in the last episode, we actually found an awakening. So, uh, that kind of works out. I already have several of them, but, I mean, might as well use it since we just got it. So, use an awakening. We wake back up. Razor Leaf. Ooh, that's going to do some nasty damage. Ho hopefully not much. Ooh. Still more than I thought. 15. Okay, that's really not bad, actually. All right, we're going to go ahead and use Nightshade. Then he poisons us, of course. Of course. How fitting. We'll use an antidote at the end of this uh, at the end of this battle. So, Nightshade. Take care of that. And no more Venusaur. Perfect. We're going to gain some XP. That's a lot of XP. We're going to be hurt by... Excuse me, hurt by poison. Mantine. I think that's what it said. I don't know how many Pokemon he has left, but we're gonna go ahead and bring somebody else out. Um, yeah, let's get Buffy out there. I wanna see Buffy out here. Oh wait, it's a water type. Oh, and it might know ice type moves. Oh no, what have we done? Okay, we're switching, we're switching. Uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Oops, all right, Buffy. Um, oh gosh, we get bodied by like everybody. I'm gonna send out Barker, even though we're risking the ice type. Um, I think it should be okay. Uh, yeah. Agility. Okay, that's not bad. Obviously, you're gonna probably outspeak, but that's okay. We're gonna go with that. Um, I wanna say Razor Leaf, but I feel like Razor Leaf, it's not gonna be super effective, because Mantine's either, let's say, 55, but it has high critical hit ratio. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the Razor Leaf and hope for a critical hit. I can't remember if... I'm pretty sure Mantine is Water Flying. Uh, but I almost want to say Water Ice. But I don't think that's the case. I think it knows a lot of Ice-type moves. But it's not actually an Ice-type. Yeah, see, it's regular... Just just effective. Um, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. It doesn't look like he knows any Ice-type moves. I think if he did, or Flying-type moves, he would have used one of those against me. So, uh, we're thriving. We're thriving, and we're winning, and he's gone. So, I probably, if that's the case, I probably could have stayed in with Buffy. He probably would have taken significant damage, though, from those Bubble Beams. So, uh, it's probably best that we switched over to the Barker. And we go to level 28, so that's good. Electivire. Oh, boy. That's scary. Um, we could do Buffy, actually. I kind of want to. Because I feel like Buffy... I always underestimate Buffy's defense, too. Um, and he's not... I mean, if he has any Electro-type moves, they're not going to do anything. Because I'm uh, flying ground, so... That's probably... That's probably a good thing. Yeah, let's take on an Electivire with a Gligar. That's that's still intimidating. That's still really intimidating. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the screech to like heavily lower his uh, defense so that we can smack him with this with this wonderful uh, faint attack. Swift. 
because he knows he can't use an electric type. Wow, that did like nothing. All right. Way to go, Buffy. Using your defense. How much is this going to do? A significant amount. That's what I wanted to see. All right, he's going to use another Swift. And it's going to do a little bit more. And we're going to destroy him with this fan attack. No more, Mr. Electivire. We really just took down a full-on Electivire with, uh, with a little Gligar. I love it. I love it. Buffy, you are putting in the work. You should boast more about the last attack. No. Alright. Um. Yes, let's use... Let's use some healing up here. Uh, I would love to give you an antidote. Real quick. Perfect. Okay. We'll give you a potion as well. Give you a potion. We'll give... Buffy, I think, could use one. Cool. We'll give Barker one. Sweet. Potions everywhere. Beautiful. Alright, and then let's switch Pokemon over... Um, switch Barker over. Perfect. Okay. And I guess we'll continue on. Is there? Oh, there was an item over there. Okay, let's go get that item real quick. I'm especially, like, wanting to get every single item. A black belt? Okay. Because I feel like there's just a Razor Fang sitting out here, and it could be any one of these items. Any one of these items could be a Razor Fang, and I want it, so... <laughs> Is there an item over here? I thought maybe there was. I guess not. Okay. Cool. That's alright. Alright, we're gonna fight this guy here. There is a hidden item. I know this right here is a hidden item for sure. Oh. What wild Pokemon could we have ran into over here? A Chatot. Um, I'm kind of glad we didn't find a Chatot. There's really not a... Honestly, getting a Piplup was pretty good. I, I'll give him that. The Piplet was pretty great. I was... Mostly what I was annoyed about was the, uh... What's it called? I was annoyed about the... A Flame Orb. Ooh. Give me something with guts. Give me something with guts. We'll have some fun. Um... Yeah, but mostly I was concerned about the, the Surge Kit, and I just wish that I had gotten something better than that. Um... Uh, but that's okay. Because we found, we found a good Pokemon. Jirachi? Oh gosh. Psychic Steel? I think that's right. Alright, we're gonna fake you out, of course. Withdrew Jirachi. And sent up Blaze again. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is up with these Pokemon? He's got a Jirachi and a Blaze again. <laughs> that's kind of scary. <laughs> that's honestly really scary. Okay, we're gonna Shadow Sneak you, because I know you can't hit me with any fighting type moves. So you'll have to hit me with like. Flare Blitz or Sky Uppercut or something. Oh, that did, like, nothing. Or Peck. Peck works, too. Which also did not do a whole lot. Um, I really thought Shadow Snake would do more. I'm gonna use a Nightshade and see if that does more damage than the Shadow Snake. It probably won't, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because Blaziken probably has a lot of HP. Oh, just kidding. That actually did a lot. Alright, we'll finish you off with the Shadow Snake, then. Sweet. And we'll bring Jirachi out here and, and Shadow Sneak that. That's a cool cry. Alright, we got some good XP here. 1,029 EXP points. Golem grew to level 28. Well, should I switch out? Who, who's next in line? Is it Luna? No, it's Buffy. I could send out Buffy with the Fane attack, actually. I kind of want to do that. Hmm. It did withdraw Gollum, though. Or, just because Gollum was out there. I don't know what I want to do. Um, you know, we'll just keep Gollum in. We'll keep Gollum in. Let him get the extra XP. Let him do the most. Put in, put in work. Uh, hit him with that Shadow Sneak. That'll do. Oh, I thought it would do more than that. Hmm. It was a crit? Maybe we... Oh, he knows rest. That's not good. Okay, well, if that's the case, then we're gonna actually switch. We're gonna switch over to Buffy. Do do do, And you're probably asleep. Yep, okay. And we're gonna hit him with that faint attack. Because I feel like that might do more. 
man, Steel is like resistant against everything in this. I forgot in this generation, Steel resisted like everything. It still does. I mean, it still feels like it does, but it's wild to me how much is actually resistant. Uh, psychic? That's dangerous. Oh my goodness. And my special defense fell. Okay, this ain't good. This is not good. We gotta switch back to Gollum. Gollum is definitely our best bet. Or Barker. Actually, it might be better to go with Barker. I don't know. Yeah, let's switch over to Barker. Because we got that Screech in, so I'm not too worried about it. Use Rust again. Okay, da da da. I'm trying to, like, kind of fast forward through that. Alright, Fan Attack. Here we go. With that Screech, that helped a ton. And you're fast asleep, so that should hopefully end the battle right here, right now. Oh, I've got an itch. There we go. Cool. Sweet. Alright, Jirachi is gone. Uh, we gained some fantastic EXP for everybody. Look at that. That was a lot. That was like 1,100 total XP. Alright, with that being said, we're going to switch these guys around. Cool. And then... Go ahead and give Buff Buffy a super potion. Cool. Sweet. Alright, let's keep on moving. I'm guessing there's an item up here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna fight this girl. Anyways. Oh, you wanna teach me something about Pokemon? I guess. I'll teach you how to lose. Challenged by Man Robin. <laughs> it's like Batman and Robin, but it's just no bat. It's just man. Man Robin. Man Robin. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, that's great. I love that. Okay, we're going to... Oh, I don't know. Should we even bother with the Screech? Yeah, why not? We'll do We'll do a Screech. Just to, just to secure the dub, if you know what I mean. Um, Endeavor? Really? Uh-oh. That's not good. My encoder... This is my encoder's overloaded. Uh, I don't like that. It's kind of concerning, actually. Might have to turn some things down just a little bit. We'll see, though. Alright, fan attack. Definitely destroyed that. Okay. And level 28. Thank you for that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Wow, that Starly had a lot less health than we did. That endeavor brought me so far down. For no reason. Alright. We'll switch these guys all the way over. Cool. Iron ball. Okay. And there's an item over there. We'll get that next. After we take this guy on. Do, 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 do. What? You do? You do have a Pokedex? Yes, yes we do. We have a Pokedex. This is taking longer than I thought. Botanist Crystal sent out Persian. Again, I said this in the last episode, but Pokemon Diamond just takes... So stinking long. So long. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna go and hit him with the confusion real quick. You screech. Oh, gosh. That's scary. Use confusion. Hopefully this is a two hit. Oh, definitely. Okay, cool. Let's hit you with that confusion one more time after the fury swipes, which should not be very effective because we're a rock type, so... We're gonna fast forward through. Oh, that's it. Literally two times. Literally two times. That's it. Cool. All right, no more Persian. That's good. Goes Persian fainted. Get some EXP. Sweet. About to send in Whalemur. Okay, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch from from that. Honestly, Barker, you already know we're dealing with a water type. I'm right out here. Wait, guys, it's me. It's Dented Whale, bro. It's the Dented Whale. Yeah, he doesn't have a dent, though. I should do that. I should just take a whalemur and, pro like, put, like, somehow edit it to make a dent. That'd be funny. 
That'd be funny. Or a uh, whale lord. Whalemur or whale lord. Either one. Alright. Whalemur is gone. Out of here. Destroyed. Arcanine. Okay, we're not staying in as Barker. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go back to Luna. Luna can take care of Arcanine with that rock throw. Go, Luna! Right, we got Arcanine out here. Sweet. And rock throw. Kaboom. Wow. That's how bad Luna's attack is. That's gonna- Oh, he has bite. He has bite. He has bite. He has bite. And he has high attack. Okay. We're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. Um, to Captain. Captain has no, no fear against Arcanine. Probably obliterate him. All right, use Roar. Oh, well, that, that's unfortunate. Who do you bring out? Please don't. Oh, interesting. That's kind of funny, actually. Todd was dragged out. We're gonna confuse you right here, right now. Immediately confuse you. Okay, cool. Came confused. I'm gonna kind of fast forward through things. Use Roar again. Who do you bring back out? Oh, okay, that works. I, I'm good with that. Um, so we can fake you out now, too. Boom. Okay, you're gonna flinch, and then we're going to, uh, ooh, I say nightshade. Let's nightshade you. Snapped out confusion. Oh, he knows bite too. Oh, it's regular. It's not super effective. I was scared for a second. I'm still scared. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna do it. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was such a bad idea. That was such a bad idea. Oh my goodness. I got, Andy's burned. Oh no. Hit the nightshade, and then let's get out of here. Okay. And I'm hurt by... Oh, man. That's too scary. I don't like this. I don't like this. Get Captain back out here right now. Order Sleuth. Okay. Cool. Captain should outspeed. Let's use that water gun. Finish him off. Oh, he used Fire Fang. I thought he would have used Roar again, to be honest. Okay. Not very effective. And finish with the water gun. We got him. Okay, cool. Oh, and it was a crit. That's funny. That was intense. That Arcanine was strong. Oh my goodness. I always underestimate Arcanine. He's so good. Such a good Pokemon. I love I love using Arcanine, but gosh, he's strong. Alright, um. Next plan. Uh Honestly, we might have to run back real quick and heal up. Uh, before we take this guy on. Yeah. Oh, gosh. As soon as I walk into the grass. What do we got? A Sandshrew. That would have been kind of cool. Just to have one. But I don't I don't need one. I have... We've got a captain for our ground-type coverage, so... Don't really need a Sandshrew. What do we got? A Meadow Plate. Ooh. Cool. The rightful bearer of the plate trolls from the plate it holds. Okay, cool. Uh, any hidden items over here? No? Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's head back. Uh, get some healing up done. I don't have to use all these items. Oh. I also need to buy more healing items too, I think. So, we're gonna use some of the money we just earned to buy some of those. Pokemon Center, heal up. Cool, cool. See you again. And we're out. Okay. And we'll head up to the department store. Buy some healing items. We're gonna go and fight that last person and then hopefully go and get our encounter. Oh, wrong one. And this one right here. Cool. Buy. Gosh, I forgot you can buy everything here this early in the game, which is kind of scary. Um. I definitely don't need any hyper potions right now. Let's go nine super potions. We have 20 of those, and let's go with 10 of these guys. Cool. And we're not going to be buying any revives because we don't use those. We do not use revives in this game. Alright, uh, let me make sure my Pokemon are all in the right order. 27, 28, cool. Good to go. 
Let's head out. Take on this last guy and then go get ourselves an encounter. Exciting. Exciting stuff. Honestly, I'm really hopeful that this is going to be a fantastic encounter. Oh, I like this music. Win or lose, who knows how this will go. We're playing for keeps. That music was kind of cool. I don't, I don't even remember that music being a thing. You were challenged by leader Florent Florentino. With like, with like the outfit and everything, I'm just like thinking of the Godfather. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Um. Confusion. Leader Florentino. With with the outfit. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that did a lot. Supersonic. Oh no, I'm confused. Help me, help me. Then I became confused. All right, we're gonna fast forward through the confusion, and you hurt yourself. Of course you did. And that's gonna be super effective. Probably not do a ton. I stand corrected. That was a crit. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna use confusion again. Hopefully. Oh, come on, Luna. Don't. Oh, he raised his attack. Now I'm really scared. We should be okay as long as he doesn't crit again. Oh, we snapped out. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, give me that wonderful XP. Luna levels up to level 28. Good stuff. And we've got Murkrow. I could stay in, but I'm not. I'm not fighting a dark type uh, with with Luna just because Rock Throw. Like it would be super effective, but it would not. It would not do what it needs to get done. So we're gonna switch over to Captain and take care of you with this water gun after a wing attack. Was significant damage actually. Her little Marco. Hopefully this is a two shot. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So go ahead. It might do. Oh, we got the quick claw pop. Even better. Good stuff. Sweet. Good stuff. Do. Captain Groot level one. Blah, 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 blah. That's all good. Nose pass. Ooh, what do we want to use? Actually, stay in with Captain. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the. He doesn't have levitate. So, oh, it's nose pass. It's the even. It's not even. I was thinking of Probo pass. Um, we took a Probo pass on two episodes ago. Yeah, two episodes ago we took on a Probo pass. So I was still thinking about that. And I missed a mud bomb, but we'll go ahead and use another one real quick. And we missed again. Okay. That's kind of annoying. There it is. Okay, we hit the mud bomb this time. Should kill. One shot. Boom. And he's gone. Actually, he used water gun. Oh, well. It is what it is. Player defeated. Leader Florentino. We got some money. Yada, yada, yada. Cool. Oh. All right. We finally beat everybody on Route 214, even though it took absolutely forever. Um, let's go ahead and use Super Potion. And we'll give Captain a regular potion here. Cool. And we're also gonna switch Pokemon around a little bit here. Uh, yeah. Now that everybody, literally everyone, is level 28. Alright, get Buffy up here. Uh, I think that's good. Okay, we got everybody in order how we want them. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. I'm honestly going to run through here and just... Oh, okay, nothing there. And here? Okay, still nothing. Interesting. Is there an item over in the corner? No? All right. I'm ready for an encounter. Here we go. All right, Valor Lake Front Encounter. What is it? Oh. Yo. Sableye looks... Or not... Absol looks so cool in this in this game. I didn't realize he looked like that. That's actually dope. Um, gosh, how do I want to play this? Okay, Todd is literally eight levels above him. Todd is also really weak uh, in the attack category. Let's check. Quick attack. Yeah, it's low. And then we look at your summary. Okay, it's not that low, but it's low enough that I feel confident that a quick attack would not take out an absolute. So, 
yeah, we're gonna quick attack. I feel, I feel, I have enough confidence here that it will not kill. Oh, wow. Not at all. What is... Oh, no. Is that... That's the move I'm thinking. I'm kind of scared. We're gonna confuse him. I, I'm... I feel like I'm okay, but I'm... Maybe I should have switched. Oh, boy. Oh, no. What's gonna happen? Oh, it hurt itself. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, I kind of want to let it be right now. Let me... Hold on. Oh, I can't use Hypnosis on it either, because it's, uh, it's a dark type. It's Absol, it's level 20. Um, dang. Even with 10% HP left, there's not a great chance of catching it. Do we have any other good Pokeballs? Uh... I mean, I'll look and see if a Safari Ball actually will do anything. I doubt it, but... I don't really know exactly how those Safari Balls work outside of... Because it's not, it's not a common thing to find them. Um, actually, seems to do a lot. And then I think I also have a Dive Ball, which I'm not going to use that. Say a, an Ultra Ball. He had a 23% chance of catching him if he has 10% HP left. Which is considerably low. Um, we're just gonna chuck a few Pokeballs just to just to let it go by because he's confused and I'm trying to let him hurt himself in confusion. If he hurts himself in confusion one more time, that would be perfect. Okay. Oh, if he hurts himself again, I'm gonna cry. Okay, we're gonna throw an Ultra Ball now because we're we have him where he, where we want him. He should. This happened once earlier in the series. I can't remember who it was, but we had a Pokemon who wanted to hit itself in confusion four times in a row, and if that happens here, he snapped out. Okay, good, that's what I wanted. I wanted him to snap out of confusion, we're good. Uh, okay, bag, and, oh, man, we should have bought more Ultra Balls, that's okay. We're gonna try again. We have a 23% chance right now of catching, which is, you know, significantly decent odds. I mean, that's one in every four throws. Okay, didn't catch him this time. Oh, he's whipping up a whirlwind again. Okay, I'm gonna switch now because I don't want to get absolutely destroyed by whatever move he's about to use. Okay. Oh, Razor Wind. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get clapped by Razor Wind. I just, I'm not here for it. So, one, two, three. Got him. Let's go. It's a female Absol. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What do I want to name a female Absol? I mean, it looks similar to a dog. Ooh. You know what? I actually dog sat over the weekend, and they had a dog that they named Katara from uh, Avatar. So we're gonna name you a Katara because that that's great. I actually think that's a fitting name. So Katara, the female Absol. Boom. And you were transferred to box one. Sweet, okay. So we got our capture for that. Oh. And now we're gonna head down here and heal up. Do, do, do. Let out a burp. Yes, we would like to stay the night. Da, 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 da. Now the real question is, do I want to keep abs or keep Gollum, or do I want to bring Katara? Because Gollum does have the. We do already have a Dark type on our team too with Barker. Ooh. I love Absol. I really do. Absol is a fantastic Pokemon, but I don't think it makes sense for me to trade a. I already have two dark types on my team, and one of them also has ghost typing, so I feel like the dual typing, honestly, just keeps me at an advantage. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Yep, here's the game director. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. Do you have anything in your trash? No. I feel like there's there's a house around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure, that has, like, trash in it. Oh, there's an item there. Let me talk to you first. Okay. Item. What do we got? Black glasses. We already have those. 
Um, but I guess we'll take another one. <laughs> um, trying to see if there's any other... There's a couple more houses here we can check out. Just simple soul on his music. Okay, what about you? Let me gaze into your eyes. A magical counter is in the winds, though I cannot tell whether it will be a Pokemon or a trainer. Okay. Traveling. Uh, we obtained TM92, which he's probably going to tell us what it should be. Trick Room is what it should be. Okay. What is it actually then? Let's check. What TM do we have? TM92. Brine. It's not a bad move. I kind of like that move. Uh, trash can is also empty. We'll check out this house. Is there an item down this row here? I'm just going to keep it in A just in case. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. We'll check out this guy right here. Yep. The Tin Tower in the Johto region. I have heard of that. And your trash can is also empty. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to stop uh, the episode. In the next episode, we will be taking on the Seven Stars restaurant. And we'll also be traveling down the next route. Whatever route is south. Route 213, I guess. Huh. I didn't realize it started right there. Interesting. Um, but yeah, we'll be taking on Route 213 with a new encounter and some trainers. And also this restaurant. So... Anyways, with that being said, thank you all for checking out this episode. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed, and you can go ahead and drop a comment. Ooh, what do I want to make the question of the day? Um, I'll leave it up to you. Uh, do we replace Gollum with Katara, or do we keep Gollum? I know, like, it's easy to be biased and say, uh, well, we've had Gollum, so might as well keep him, and you'd have to train up Katara, but... Uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Like, what do you what do you think? Should we should we keep Gollum, or should we put Katara in? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Have yourselves a good day. Peace out.